love thyself. And on this side, I'm going to write love others. <laughs> and then I'm going to put a little heart because I'm childish. guys I've been waiting to do this motivational Monday topic but because I said that I was going to try to vlog a little more often or you know post a little more often throughout the month of December I decided to go ahead and make this video on top of that I posted a couple pictures on my Instagram story and also on snapchat and I got a lot of inboxes from a lot of my subscribers wanting to know this and that and this is the reason why I figured that I would go ahead and talk about this topic now so I posted this picture and this picture yes I'm holding a beautiful rose and a lot of my supporters speculated that you know I must have someone significant in my life <laughs> I was thankful to get the reactions that I did because, you know, it proved a point to myself and hopefully the point that was proven to me, um, I could share with you guys from my standpoint. Okay, so you know the feeling you get when you either receive something special or you see someone else receiving something special from someone else. <sighs> okay, the reactions that I got let me know that a lot of people were happy for me if in fact that was the case but <laughs> that wasn't the case the rose that I was holding it was from myself and I must say the same feeling the same reaction that you guys gave me or that you guys felt that's the same feeling that I felt but for myself okay so let me share a little story with you guys a while back I had a client of mine she's so so sweet she bought me a bouquet of flowers and she also gave me a gift card you know she was just so sweet and you know I was very thankful but you know I had to ask what what is this for and she said sweetheart always make sure that you take care of yourself and you know I'm like you know like okay and mind you she's an older lady so you know, I take heed to a lot of older women because they're wise and I love being around wisdom. I love taking in words of advice from wise people. Then she went on by saying, you know, when you are blessed with things, always take time out to treat yourself, to love on yourself, show yourself some appreciation. And she told me that she does this often. Whenever she's in the position to treat herself, she does that. So, I just thought that was so, so inspiring and motivating. Like, it literally brought tears to my eyes. Y'all already know when I say it all the time, I am a big crybaby, and I'm not ashamed of it. So, but anyways, um, you know, when it's happy tears, that's just me. I'm moved by things that touch my heart. Since then, I've made it my business to do this at least once a month I always take the time out to treat myself with flowers and not only myself but my daughters as well and sometimes I go out of the way and treat my clients or my friends or family members I even kind of got my niece hip to it I went to the store got her some flowers and we both got our vase and we decorated it you know the, the little bottom area with the little crystals and rocks and sand and stuff like that and put our flowers in it and it's just such a beautiful feeling to understand that you are worth it to be able to pat yourself on the back and say look how far you've come and no you do not have to you know be at your best to make yourself feel good and it's not limited to the accomplishments you have 
the success you have. It's just because of who you are. Some people may not be in a position to where they're at their best, but they have a beautiful heart. You know, you have to show yourself who you are first before you can show that to others. As girls, young women, as women, that's one of the main things that I feel like we lack. And when I say this, oh my gosh, I know I have a lot of male supporters as well. It's not limited to just women, but majority of my audience is women, so I'm addressing everyone as women. But if you are male watching, always show yourself some love. Take yourself out. Get you a fresh lineup. Do whatever you have to do for yourself to show yourself, I appreciate you. A lot of times we sit back and we want others to tell us they love us or we're beautiful, we're handsome, we appreciate you. And we desire to give that to everyone else as well. We desire to show that to everyone else as well. But how many times have you sat back and thought, let me show myself the same kind of love that I so freely give to others around me. Ever since I could remember, I've always thought of myself as one who loves very hard. I'm a hard lover. Once I love you, I love you. And one of the things that I'm learning is you can think that you're a hard lover when in actuality you're craving for the type of love and support that you wish that people would give to you. You find yourself in situations where you shouldn't be in because you feel like you love so hard. You want somebody to love you that hard. But in actuality, the truth is you have to learn how to love yourself first. Because when you learn how to love yourself first, you teach others how to love you. I must say that over the past couple of years, I've been through some good times and some bad times. And one of the things that I can admit that is a quality that I wish that I still had, that I used to have, is how I freely, freely loved. And it's like today, I have a very big heart. I'm very sensitive, but I'm also very strong. You know, I have like these stone walls built up to where, you know, I try not to let my vulnerability show too much because I know how my heart works. One of the things that I realized is over the years, I have become somewhat a little cold. I don't know, sometimes I feel like it's a good thing and sometimes I feel like it's a bad thing. It's a good thing because I, I love. You know, that's something that I'm very good at doing, is loving. I can be very selfless at times, even if I don't have it to give. It can be bad at times because not everybody deserves your vulnerability. So as soon as I feel like I'm being taken advantage of or, you know, something like that, being violated in a way, those stone walls come towering up and, you know, I just completely shut down. I become very cold, distant, and quiet. And one of the things that I think about right now is my kids are growing up. I've always been very big on teaching them to think for themselves, to love themselves, and, you know, take care of themselves. You can't always sit back and expect others to do that for you because sometimes people are so focused on themselves, you know, trying to heal themselves, help themselves, and, you know, love on themselves that they just don't see you. So celebrate yourself. I swear this is something that I do at least once a month is I always take the time out to either go out to eat with my friends or you know by myself. There's been plenty of times where I would go by myself and celebrate myself. You know go out with my children, celebrate them, celebrate us as a whole. And this is just something that I feel is important. Celebrate yourself. Celebrate how far you've come. And it doesn't have to be materialistically. You know, maybe you have overcome 
you know, having nasty attitudes. Maybe you have overcome being a pushover. Maybe you just graduated from school. Maybe you just passed your driver's test. Simple things. It doesn't always have to be something extravagant for you to love and appreciate yourself. You know, just the simple things. Maybe you walked away from an argument that you normally wouldn't have. Celebrate yourself. You know, so um, I just wanted to show y'all too, since I'm already talking about it. So this is my rose right here. And this is the one that I took the picture with. And this is the vase that I got for it. And it's one of them cute little vases that you can write on. So <laughs> I, I was gonna write my name, but I don't know. I guess I'll just write. love thyself and on this side I'm going to write love others and then I'm gonna put a little heart because I'm childish. Now my girls, they haven't they haven't seen theirs yet because they're still in school. And this one is for my baby girl. I don't know if you guys can see it too well up close, but it has glitter all over the top of the flowers. I was like, she's gonna love this. You know, she's still very tiny, so she's into all that glitter and you know, cute stuff. My oldest daughter, Tootie, she loves pink, so I always try to get her something with pink in it. And Ladybug, which is my middle daughter, um, she likes purple. I couldn't find a purple rose, but I did find, you know, the cute little purple flowers. And I thought this rose was so beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. And I also got them cards. So in the cards, I just write down things that I appreciate about them and just encourage them to continue being themselves and growing. And I just want to throw this in there for my adults, male and female. If you are hoping to find someone compatible with you, this is the reason why it's so important to love yourself. I always say to myself, I'm gonna be patient, but I do hope to find someone who would love and appreciate me for who I am. First, I have to know who I am. I have to learn to love who I am because one thing that I desire to do as well is I desire to love and appreciate someone for who they are. And in order for me to love them properly, I have to first know how to love myself. So with this being said, it's always good to take time out for yourself, learn who you are, love who you are, appreciate who you are, uplift who you are before looking for someone else to do the same for you. If you hope to find someone who is as awesome and lovable as you are, you will want to give them that same love and appreciation. But if you're not whole within yourself, if you're not appreciative within who you are how can you love that person properly i'm not going to hold you guys too long but just always remember that everything in life starts with you make sure that you guys follow me on my social media accounts so you guys know i have two facebook accounts one under t-day six and the other one under t-day tiffany well t-day tiffany is my personal page and that page has been deactivated for about two months now. Hmm, I don't know. I may open it back up, but I'm not really feeling the whole Facebook atmosphere. Sometimes I have my moments. But um, I do have Instagram under T-Day6. I have Snapchat under the real T-Day6. And I also have Twitter and Pinterest, all that other stuff. And wherever, just go wherever and you'll find me under T-Day 6. Many of you guys know I'm finishing up these classes so that I can graduate. I thought that I was gonna be able to keep up, but my classes have been very overwhelming. And not to brag anything, but I care about good grades. I'm one who really cares about good grades. So if I see that I'm falling behind, I gotta fall back. So. 
Thank you so much for watching my videos. I appreciate it. Go ahead and hit that thumbs up button if you feel that this video is helpful for you. So yeah, I don't know if you guys are into this type of thing, but I just wanted to share this with you all because you know, that's what I do. I share what I know. So, <laughs> all right y'all, I will talk to you guys in the next video. Bye.